Welcome to the Seattle Asian Art Museum. My name is Yao Yao and I'm a museum educator. Inside, you'll find art from China, Japan, Vietnam, Korea, the Philippines, India, and many other places across Asia. In the galleries, you can have a conversation about art with your friends, family, or classmates. You might see something that inspires you or makes you wonder about how it was made. At the Seattle Asian Art Museum, after exploring the galleries, you can head downstairs to the Education Art Studio and make art inspired by what you saw. In this video, we will be creating a pair of portraits inspired by Zhang Yan Du's Bewitch No. 2 Soul. A portrait is an artwork that shows a specific person. But we're going to think about how a portrait can tell a story about the person shown in it. This artwork is called Bewitch No. 2 Soul. It was created by South Korean artist Jung Yan Du. If you want to talk a bit more about the artwork to help your understanding before diving into the activity, feel free to pause this video and check out the object video focused on Bewitch No. 2 Soul on the Seattle Art Museum's website. To create this artwork, the artist interviewed the subject of his portrait, a Baskin Robbins employee. The subject told the artist about her everyday life, then shared her dreams of going to the Arctic. Afterwards, he created this pair of portraits. Her change in clothing, accessories, and setting changes how we see her and shows us a part of her that we might not know upon first glance. For this activity, you will interview a classmate or someone else in your life. Then you will create a portrait of their everyday life and their dreams. For this activity, here's what you'll need. Paper, pencils, something to color with, like colored pencils, markers, or crayons, scissors, glue or tape, clean paper recyclables like old magazines, scrap paper, or a flattened cereal box. You can also choose to have upcycled materials like buttons, ribbons, or beads. You'll also need a partner to interview. You can talk to them face-to-face, -face, give them a call, or video chat with them. This can be someone in your class or group. It can also be a friend, family member, or someone else in your life. I'll be interviewing Kelsey, who works at SAM with me. First, I'll ask Kelsey a few questions about her life. Uh, my first question is, where do you spend a lot of your time every day? What do you do here, and what do you see around you? Um, I like to spend a lot of my time here in Volunteer Park. Um, I like to go for walks, um, and I like to listen for birds, and. Um, look for dogs and right now I see a lot of big trees and some colorful flowers around me. Tell me about how this place shapes your daily life. Mm, whenever I'm here I think about when my cousin came to visit and how we would ride bikes around the park and so I always think of her when I'm here. Then I'll ask what would be her dream come true? What do you dream of doing? If you could do anything what would it be? Hmm. I dream about exploring the ocean. Um, I'd want to see the coral reefs and I'd want to go way deep down where the fish have to glow in the dark to see what's around them. How would you feel if this dream came true? I would feel curious. Uh, I want to see how fish and other animals live their lives. Now it's your turn. Once you have a partner, make sure you're in a space where you can listen closely. If it helps, feel free to write down some of the things they say. Now that you've interviewed your partner, you can bring their dreams to life. I will go through the different steps to creating a pair of portraits inspired by Bewitch No. 2 Soul. Feel free to pause this video in between steps to give yourself enough time to create the artwork you want to make. Fold the piece of paper in half with one side as the everyday portrait and the other as the dream portrait. On each side, use a pencil to sketch out the face, neck, and shoulders of the subject on the foreground. The foreground is the part of the picture closest to you. On the everyday side, add details that show their expression using colored pencils or markers. Now for the background, which is the part of the picture further away from you. Here you will create a setting which is where the picture takes place. Look through some of the old magazines and clean paper recyclables for pictures that match up with what the person interviewed described in their everyday life. You can create a setting by gluing or taping what you found. 
You can also use colored pencils, crayons, or markers to draw some of the things they described in the interview. Kelsey talked about having good memories of her time at the park, so I will draw her thinking and remembering. For my portrait of Kelsey on this side, I'll be adding some birds and trees. On the dream side, follow the same process as the everyday side, except focus on finding or drawing pictures, patterns, and colors that match up with what the person interviewed described in their dream. If you can't find a picture of something they described, then you can create it using other materials that you have available. For example, I made glowing fish from extra aluminum foil, or you can draw it yourself. When the portraits are finished, show it to the person who you interviewed. See if they can recognize some of the things they talked about in the portraits. Thank you so much for your hard work, looking closely, thinking about artwork, and making your own creation today. Visit the website on the screen to find a look and make lesson with more activities about this artwork.